Hey guys, Manny Waya here, founder of 2000books.com. And today I want to talk to you about Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Now this guy has written quite a few books on the whole idea of building a business around your content. And Crush It is the prequel to Crushing It, which came out recently. And Crush It kind of lays out the path for anyone who has a passion and who wants to build a business around it. And Gary's uh, fundamental understanding there is you can build a business around it using content as the mainstay for that business. So let's let's get into it. Let's talk about some of the biggest ideas from the book. And number one, the most important idea in the book is that passion is the key. If you have a passion, if there's something you wake up thinking about, if there's something you go to bed thinking about, if there's something that obsessed that you're obsessed about, you can literally build a business around it. You can build content around it and you can build a business around it. If that's what you dream about, think about and literally spend all your time doing, then you should literally find a way to monetize that passion and it's possible to do that whether it's basket weaving whether it's uh, computer games whether it's books whatever it is if it is your passion you can find a way to monetize it that's what Gary Vaynerchuk is talking about it's a really important idea you must have passion passion is the key passion is the first step in this whole process passion for that idea is crucial the second key idea is that you have to create relentless content, persistent, relentless content, create a body of work. You cannot just hope to create some content here and there and build a business around it. That's not going to work. You have to create a lot of content. You have to create a body of work. You have to create uh, consistent content in order to uh, really establish your place in the marketplace. You have to create a lot of content to educate your customers to educate your potential buyers to educate your potential leads to educate the market about your product about your service so content is really crucial in this whole game you have to create a lot of content you have to create a ton of content in order to literally be able to cash in on your passion as Gary Vaynerchuk talks about it right the third key idea is that legacy is greater than money every single time every time you make a decision in the business every time you make a decision as to which step what is the next step you always have to think about is this something that my mom is going to be proud of is this something my dad's going to be proud of is this something my grandma is going to be proud of is this something my grandkids are going to be proud of is this something I will be proud of 20 30 40 50 years from today if not, you should question if this is something you should be doing. A lot of people get into this business just to make a quick buck, just to try to scam the system. And I hate that. I really hate that. I don't want to deal with people like that. So be very careful. Be very uh, concerned about trying to build a business which is scammy, where you're not really thinking about legacy, but you're instead thinking about a quick money here and there. There's something very interesting I learned from Jeff Bezos in his book, Jeff Bezos and the Rise of Amazon. It's a biography of Jeff. Bezos. He said, in business, there are mercenaries and missionaries. The mercenaries are in it to make quick money and get out of it. Missionaries are in it because they have a mission, they have a purpose, they have a passion for something and they want to build it. So if you are a mercenary, it is entirely possible that you will make money in the short term and you will probably lose it in the long term. But if you're a missionary, the key is that ultimately the missionary will make a whole lot more money than the mercenary ever will. So initially the mercenary will make more money, but in the long term, the missionary will win. So you might be in it to make some money and make some quick money, and that's the mercenary mindset, but you should be instead in it to be a missionary because if you are on a mission ultimately you will actually end up making a whole lot more money than the mercenary ever will so think about that think about building a business for long term think about a building a business for legacy and not for the sake of money only and th those are the kinds of people i attract nowadays into my coaching program as well so that's really important legacy over money really 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 anytime you have a distinction anytime you have a, a decision to make legacy first money second the next key idea is something that i'm not in total agreement with gary vaynerchuk on he says you have to build a personal brand now here's the thing that i do not completely agree with you don't have to have to build a personal brand in order to be able to cash in on your passion you can build a personal brand and it will help you get to goals faster in the sense it will help you make money faster but in the long term if you really want to build a scalable business if you want to build a business that's bigger than yourself then the personal brand becomes 
becomes a liability in some ways. And I have a lot of friends in this space. I have a lot of friends in this space. I have seen them go through this process of trying to build initially a personal brand and then they, they go on to build a non-personal brand because they realize if it's a personal brand, it's all tied to them. And they cannot really do anything other than like, because the business requires them to be fully there in order to build that brand, in order to actually monetize it continuously. Now, here's the thing I will accept about the personal brand that it is a faster path to monetization. It is definitely a faster path to monetization compared to a non-personal brand. But with that comes the downside. If it is a faster path, it also has a limited upside in the sense that you cannot sell it, you cannot scale it beyond yourself. While if it's a business that's not a personal, it's not personality driven, you can do whatever, you can scale that business, you can sell that business, you can exit that business, you can do all those things. So you got to be careful with this idea. I'm not completely sold on the idea of building a personal brand in order to grow the business and in order to just attach the business all the way to my hip. I have quite a few friends like Simple Programmer, some of you guys might know him, John Sonman, is the founder of simpleprogrammer.com. It's a huge website for programmers. However, he initially he started building as a personal website, but personal brand, but now he's out of the business. And uh, that was a tough transition to get out of the business in the sense he still is an investor in the business. He's still a majority shareholder in the business, but that a part of being a personal brand is not required anymore in the sense he has stepped away from the business on the day-to-day -day operations of the business and the business is still going on. So you don't necessarily have to build a personal business. I'm not sold on that idea yet. Uh, I am sold on the idea of on the fundamentals of how to do marketing as a personal brand in the sense you should be authentic. You have to be authentic. You have to, you have to tell the truth. You have to be as raw and real as possible in order to be able to connect with your customers. Absolutely true, 100% true. But should you only build a, per is a personal brand the only way to go in order to cash in on your passion? Not at all. There's a lot of different websites out there, a lot of different uh, kinds of like blogs and stuff that the blog owner never really, you don't even know who they are and the person is making a lot of money even though you don't know who the blog owner is. So it's not just about building a personality business. It's about building a business whether you wanted personality or not is up to you. All right. So that's my take on this. The next big idea is that you have to choose a medium that fits you best. Are you a video guy? Well, then YouTube is the thing for you. If you are an audio guy, well, podcast might be the thing for you. If you are more into written word, then blogging might be the thing for you. One of the, though one of the things that has now emerged more and more and more is you want to create content for one medium, but you want to be able to repurpose it across the board. So you got to be able to repurpose all of your content. So when I put up these videos on YouTube, here's what happens, right? The YouTube audio goes into the podcast. The podcast listeners enjoy it just as much as my YouTube video viewers enjoy this. Not only that, we are now in the process of creating snippets of these videos that go onto Instagram. Great. Now, not only that, one of my writers will go and create a blog post from this and this goes onto our blog. So we have a lot of different ways in which this content gets produced, that gets syndicated in some ways on all the different platforms. But I love video, that's why I do video. If you are an audio first person, you find a way to do audio and then you syndicate that content out to other sources or other media outlets. Or if you're a written word person, well, you find a way to do written content and maybe create infographics or maybe create some videos around it. But there's always a way to go first with the medium that you love the most. So go with the medium that you love the most. That's where you will shine. That's where you will give your very best. I love video. I actually love talking to you guys here on YouTube. So it's, it's awesome. And podcasting is the same way. It's almost very similar. I feel like I do a better job if I record my podcast as a video, like what I'm doing right now. It is a podcast, it is a video, but I will do a much better job. It will be much more animated. There'll be a lot more emotion. There'll be a lot more raw uh, reality when I'm recording a video compared to when I'm recording a podcast just in front of a mic without a camera. Because when I'm in front of a camera, I'm much more animated, I'm much more real, I'm much more uh, excited in the sense I have to give my very best as if I'm talking to a friend here uh, face to face. So that's why I like the video medium the most. Of course, as we know in the online space today, video is blowing up, video is going to be the biggest driver for the foreseeable future. So take, you know, do pick what you like best. Pick what you like best and go with it. There's no right or wrong answer here. Take what you want to do and go with it. Do what you're passionate about on a medium that you enjoy and you are good to go. 
The next big idea is that you can only have patience if you enjoy the journey. Now, this is a really important idea that a lot of people overlook. Unless you enjoy this, unless you are passionate about this, you will not have the patience to see this through for the next year or two or three or four or whatever time it takes to build this business, right? You will not have the patience to go through the hardships, the struggles. If you don't enjoy this, you will not want to go through the hardships every single day. It will feel like so much work that you will give up. So if you want to have that patience, you say, no matter what, I will do this work. I will keep on doing this work and the money will come then you're on the right track. But if you're constantly feeling discouraged because uh, things are not moving and you feel like uh, you might as well just do something else and things are not working out and there's no money, then you might be in the wrong thing because if you're not enjoying this journey, if you're not enjoying the journey of creating content, if you're not enjoying documenting, if you're not enjoying putting out those videos, if you're not enjoying creating that content, then it's not for you. Then this is not maybe this is not the business or this is not the passion project for you. This is not something that if you're not excited about it, you're not going to enjoy the journey. If you don't enjoy the journey, you will not be patient. If you're not going to be patient, you're going to make, uh, you're going to, you know, pivot too fast or you're going to make changes too quickly or you're going to move away from this business too quickly. You're going to give up too quickly. You're going to uh, give in to the obstacles too quickly. You will say, ah, this doesn't work. I don't want to do this. I'll try something else. So be very careful. Be very careful in what you pick in the sense you have to do what you enjoy and that's where your patience will come from. Okay, patience comes from you being able to enjoy the journey. Really important idea. By the way, if you are interested in cashing in on your passion, if you are interested in building a business around your passion, let's talk. Cause I have opened up spots in my coaching program to coach people just like you who are passionate, who want to build a business, who are really into this for legacy, who want to build a really awesome business that they would be proud of and not someone who wants to scam the world and make a quick buck and make hundred bucks here or hundred bucks there and then just run away. That's not the kind of person I'm after. So if you're really excited about building a business around your passion to cash in on your passion, as Gary Vaynerchuk talks about in this book, Crush It, let's talk. I can guide you through this whole process. I have been building my business for the last three years and you've probably seen my income reports or you've seen snapshots of how much money I've made over the last few weeks. And you can see that, you know, I have built a legit business. I started from scratch, from zero. I left my career, my corporate career. I used to manage billion dollar, billion with a B, billion dollar cell phone projects in a Fortune 500 company. And I left all of that to build this business and I built this business over time. And there's a lot of pain, a lot of heartache that goes with it, a lot of learning that goes with it. But if you want to short circuit your learning curve, if you want to learn faster, if you want to move faster, if you want to, instead of spending four years to build a business, maybe spend a year or two and you want to help, you want me to help you, handhold you, to mentor you, to guide you in this process, then you should apply for my coaching program. Go to 2000books.com slash apply. Once you apply there, I will take a look at your application and I'll reach out to you. If I like your application, we'll get on a one-on-one -on -one video call, strategy call, where we will discuss more about this business that you're trying to build or business where you are, wherever you are at. And I'll tell you if I can help you or if I can't help you. If I don't feel like we're a good fit, we'll part ways. But if I feel like we're a good fit, I'll offer you a spot in my coaching program. It's really as simple as that. If you are someone who has a passion, who wants to build an online business, who wants to cash in on the passion, let's talk. I'm excited to serve you. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.